Interface Death would like to present some data we are analyzing for the Leeds Road investigation concerning what the client calls the junk room. There is much more to analyze, but these events are what seem to be the most active, so we will start with this portion of the data first. I would like to get your feedback on what you hear from the EVP session and ITC session. I will not subtitle or suggest anything in this film in order to get the best feedback possible. If people agree on what is being heard, we can move forward with the possibility of the audio being related to paranormal activity that is reported in this home. We will also provide interview footage so you can learn the claims from the clients. Thank you very much for your support. That just spiked. Did it really? It did. Keep it on that. Okay. Was that you? I seen the EMF meter spike. Can you make that happen again on the bed? I hear a cricket. Mm hmm. Is there someone in here that would like to speak to me? I'm sorry that if I'm invading your space. What's wrong? It's spiking. Okay, keep it on frame, please. Is that you making that spike? Is your name Carl? All that damn cricket. Can you come sit on, on this bed over here for me again? What's your name? Can you go towards uh, the green light again, please? Can you go towards uh, the green light again, please? Okay, I want to check the audio. started spiking I told you didn't it? she said she gets stuff in there like that I'm wondering if it's um... coming from her equipment on the wall alright Mark You got it locked on, don't you? Oh, yeah. Was that you? I seen the EMF meter spike. Can you make that happen again on the bed? Is there someone in here that would like to speak to me? I'm sorry that if I'm invading your space. What's wrong? Spiking. Okay, keep it on frame, please. Is that you making that spike? Is your name Carl? All that damn cricket. Can you come sit on, on this bed over here for me again?
What's your name? Uh, the green light again, please. Are you getting any activity on the mill at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's it reading? <clears throat> Point three, seven three. Three. degrees. All right, take it off the meter for right now. My leg is so bad. What's wrong? My leg keeps itching really bad. Do you want me to take it so you can? No, it's fine. I got okay. it. <laughs> now we're. Point four and point three. It spiked when I moved it. Okay. Whoa. You see that there? I'm trying to catch it. Oh. Yeah. See, I'm moving it, so I, I think that's making it do it. And we weren't moving it. Just well, I just was, and then right. I thought. Right. What the fuck? Okay. That didn't happen before. Can you make that stop? Can you move back, please? Move back all the way for me, please. I want to make sure it's you. Can you make that stop? Can you back away? I'll ask you to come back. All the way, please. Can you make that stop? Can you back away? I'll ask you to come back. All the way, please. I can still sense you. Okay, thank you. Oh. Alright, can, can you come all the way up to us? Come all the way up to us. Come back. Wow. Alright. I got this meter here that can sense you. I think I'm sensing you. Can we use it to talk? Can you back off and make it stop going off? Because I can use it to talk to you. Do you want to talk? Make it go off. Come up to us. Make it go off. Okay. Is your name Carl? I want you to come all the way up and light this all the way up if your name's Carl. Can you light it up more, please? Okay, if your name is not Carl, I want you to make that stop. If you're not Carl, make these like, ooh. You are Carl. Okay, you see what I just did okay, there? I had it in okay. my head. For some reason, my bedroom was a lot smaller than the other bedroom. But I could not figure it out. Okay, and he kept arguing with me. No, it's not. It's the same size. I said, "You're crazy. It's bigger." I'm stubborn. I'm, I'm bullheaded. Well, I said, "Well, I'm moving our furniture back in that room." He goes, "Don't do it. Just don't do it." I said, "I don't. No man's gonna tell me what to do. I'm doing it." <laughs> so I waited till we went to work, and I moved my bedroom into the other bedroom, you know, <laughs> where everybody stays, you know, the junk room, and. Uh, it was on a Friday. I'll remember this plain as day. Now this is where it really starts getting interesting. We slept in there Friday night. Fine. Saturday night. It was fine. Sunday. Fine. He goes to work. His car was broke down so he was driving my Explorer. At the time this all happened, we were the only ones living in any, any of these six houses, everybody was gone. Mm, okay. Okay. It's kind of spooky. Yeah, we were the only ones out of all it's six like a houses. Ghost town. Yeah. So. Very much. The reason I moved it in, in that bedroom because it actually had a cable hookup, and I thought, oh man, I want to watch Jerry Springer in the yeah. morning, and have some coffee, you know, just relax in bed for one, okay? So I woke up exactly ten o'clock, and I'm thinking, oh man, I missed one of my shows in the morning. <laughs> So I'm literally wide awake, and next thing I hear, bam, 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 as loud as can be. I'm like, 
like this. And if you notice, our house is on top of the garage. Okay, so we're up. And I thought, and I immediately looked this way over to the window because the bed's this way, thinking, well, somebody knock on the window? And I'm thinking, no, they probably can't reach the window because we're sitting on top of the garage. Right. So I get out of bed on the left side of the bed, and straight ahead is the closet. I don't know what drew me to this closet, okay? It was shut. I walked over, and as soon as I got my hand almost on the doorknob, all of a sudden, bam, 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 and the door shook. In your room? In the, in that in the room, closet? In the junk room. The junk room now. Yeah. Oh. Okay? <laughs> they moved their bedroom back. It freaked me out. So I ran straight down the hallway here, looked out the window, because I thought maybe he was pulling a prank on me. I thought he was hiding in, in the closet. Yeah, okay. you'd be thinking something like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> so I ran out, and I seen his car out there, and, you know, because it's broken down, and my car was gone. Mm -hmm. Then I ran into the kitchen, opened it up, and looked around, and there was nobody. And I'm thinking, I know the closet door moved on me. Right. And it, it just did something to me that day. And I don't know why, because I've lived with this all my life, that I sat on the steps all day until he came home that night. I freaked you out pretty bad? Yeah. If I had to, you? Yeah. If I had to go to the bathroom, I called my daughter, and she was like, Mom, you got to stop calling me. I said, you will talk to me while I go to the bathroom. Right. And then he came home, and I told him about because at the time, we didn't have cell phones. And I laughed. <laughs> so, and I told him about it, and he laughed at me. And I just started crying. I said, I'm telling you right now, when I tell you something like this has happened to me, it's happened. I am not lying. It wasn't because of that. It's because I told you so. Yeah, and they and then he did. I told you I had a feeling about the room. Um, yeah. Carl, do you want to talk to us? Are you are you okay to talk? Okay, that might be a yes. Do you have a message for Randy or David? Okay, can you make it stop? Don't make the meter go off. Uh, I need you to have it. See, it's kind of hard to see if it's if it's using it to communicate or not. Yeah. Let's just to see what it does. Okay. All the way back to the closet will make it stop. Try to go all the way back to the closet or the bedroom door. I want to move it okay. over here. See if we can get. See if you if we move it, nothing. Right. It's not what we were picking up over there during the EMF sweep, see? Right. But as we come over here and by the bed, see if we can get it again. Okay, okay it's there. Wow, yeah. It's really there. What is doing that? Who the hell knows? <laughs> <laughs> Anything on the mail? What's it reading? Point four. Point four point three, We're not getting any kind of weird spikes with it. No. So it's because that metal is only within the thirty to three hundred hertz range, and this has got a huge range. So we have to take that into account. Okay. If we turn on a recorder, can you can you tell us your name? Can you make this go all the way up to the red, these lights in my hand? Can you make them go all the way up? Try a little bit harder. You're trying. Try to come all the way up to it. Can you make this go all the way up to the red, these lights in my hand? Can you make them go all the way up? Try a little bit harder. You're trying. Try to come all the way up to it. Seems like it's getting a little stronger trying to. Yeah. You've almost got to touch it. Put your hand on it. All right, I want to sit it down on the bed and see if it was going to do anything there. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing. It's in this one little spot. Just to make sure it's not the laptop. Mm -mm. No. Yep. I just made my laptop go off. Oh. It wasn't recording or anything, so. 
Okay, as soon as I put it back in that spot, I got it again. Did you see that? Yeah. I'm trying to get it on camera. It's just you oh, have to have it at it. the right angle. Mm -hmm. It's right in this area. Let's see if we can move this way. Because if we can just make sure that we're getting it right in that area, that's a little weird. Because when we stop this session, I want to actually try to find a, a source to try to debunk it. If we can't debunk it, then we're going to have to look, take a closer look at it. Yeah. It's right there. Maybe he's sitting. Maybe that's... <laughs> Who knows? I mean... Are you still there? Come back. Are you sitting down on this bed? Carl, we're talking to you, buddy. That's weird. Can you just reach up your hand and place it on that? Try to take it out of Justin's hand. Whoa. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. There you go. That looks like the extent of your energy. Yeah. Can you can you give it a good tug? <laughs> I swear to God, if I get tugged. On the on the meter, not Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Try to rip the meter out of his hand. I just don't know what to make sense of it. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to sit this down. Turn the, turn the light on so we can see in here better. Okay. And we're, I'm going to try to find an explanation for that. Alright. I'm going to look under this freaking bed. Okay. <laughs> no hidden electronics in here. Oh. It don't look like there's an electric blanket yep. or anything. Yep. It's an air mattress. <laughs> it's an air mattress. It's going to have springs in yeah, it. Yeah, it's an wow. air mattress. <sighs> that was weird. That She's right. You get K2. There's nothing coming out of that. Nothing along the wall here. I did have a little weird spike down here. Yeah, but we're not even close to that. Whoa. Ooh, there it is. See? It's right there. That is so freaking weird. Are you still rolling? See? I am, but I'm at an angle where you can't see the lights. Okay, I just got a spike. Did you see that? Yeah. Maybe that's the tall guy that she was talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to see if it's coming from the ceiling. Well, Ugh, I, guess I, I, I can stand on the bed. It probably won't hurt No, me. don't stand on that bed. You'll probably fall. Oh, God. Okay, nothing up there, but I did get something out right there. Mm -hmm. Are you standing up? Carl, we have a recorder going. Can you tell us how tall you are? <laughs> right there. It's right there. Why is it right there? See, this is the part of the, part of the EMF research we're doing. I just don't understand. Yeah. Carl, or is this you, dude? Are we touching you with the thing? See if I... If I move it down, it seems like it, it's kind of in this general vicinity. It's almost like there's an, uh, an invisible cord yeah. hanging from the ceiling. We'll give that a rest for right now. Okay. Um, all right. We're going on that. We're going on that. How many fingers am I holding up? 
one. Yeah. Okay. Randy and David would like to talk to you. Do you want to talk? Tell us your name. Can you tell us if you used to live here? I heard it. Do you, do you want Randy and David to leave? I couldn't make it out. Randy's standing right here. Do you want to say something to her? in my hand. Can you tell me what this is? Tell me what's in my hand I want to know if I'm talking to somebody. What's this? What do I have in my hand? Can you say something really loud for us? Okay. If you, if you can say something real loud and tell us your name, really loud. What's your name? Sure, can you pop that line on for me? I don't have my head thing. Thank you. It said something. It did, but I want to review it.